the batteries are getting charged now z9 batteries the first one is getting charged and yeah still time for the second one and here's my little z6 2 batteries to be charged a lot of things to be packed it's my camera back so keep it posted once everything is packed this is the scene of the room getting ready to pack all the stuff I am just letting you know it's a part of my first video which we traveled to old Maxin house and uh, we now got a very beautiful road to old Maxin house which is quite have a pretty good decent road after uh, hopefully and you no need to go across Dharwad and Dharwad to Hilial now because Dharwad and Hilial road has a lot of construction work going on and the roads are first of all very narrow and you are not able to overtake vehicles and you will waste a lot of time here so what I have done is uh, I have taken a route from Nelmangla which is of a common Nelmangla toll and from wherever in across Bangalore you reach to Nelmangla toll so from Nelmangla toll you can just see we go through the bus plate and we reach Tumkur and from Tumkur we go via Sira So here is your Shira and after Shira you get Hiryur. So once you and this entire route is for NH48. It's a national highway. So after Hiryur you get uh, Chitradurga. So again from NH48 you go to Davangere. Then again NH48 you continue to Rane Bindur. Then again NH48 Haveri. Then Bankapur. Bankapur toll you cross and straight there is a way for uh, going to Tadas. Don't take that left deviation. You can see the Tadas deviations here. So please don't take that. Go straight. Go straight till you almost reach the Gabor toll of Hubli. This is the uh, normal toll of uh, Hubli Gabor toll from where you have to, to take deviation to old Hubli and that reaches you to that uh, directly takes you to Dharwad. This is the route. This is the Gabur toll and from from this Gabur toll you go to Dharwad and from Dharwad again you go to Mandgad so you go to Dharwad, from Dharwad again you have to come to Helial and then to Old Maxinos. Instead of that, once you come, once you cross Hiryur and you come near to Gabur Toll, here is your Gabur Toll. So before Gabur Toll, you can see there is a new ring road which is constructed from Hubli that connects you to your Hubli Karwar Highway Hubli Karwar Highway and the place name is exactly Kundgol Cross from Kundgol Cross before that only you have to get down the flyover go to the service road 
and after the kundgal cross kundgal cross is nothing but the uh, left there is a right turn to go to kundgal uh, underpass instead of that you have to go straight and take a left deviation there is a small cement road i will show this in my video also so that you will get an idea where is that it is so there is a small cement road there you have to take a left and that cement roads directly take you and joins this flyover this is nothing but you can see the image here hopefully outer ring load cover leaf interchange so this is nothing but also a six lane for the next 20 km next 8 uh, to 8 to 7 km you have six lanes you have six lane road till this joint till this junction okay so from this junction you have a normal two way lane road till kalgatgi okay so once you come to kalgatgi near kalgatgi you reach you have to take a right deviation so once you take a right deviation from kalgatgi it goes directly to halyal and once you reach halyal you can just put a uh, directly as a old magazine house in our google map so that it will show you the shortcut route from bachi kalvan and all other places so that you no need to go to dandeli city and then come out and again go to ganeshkudi so this comes totally around 480 kilometers and uh, the route till this kundgol cross hubli is awesome it's six line route we left at morning 3 3 am and we reached old magazines at 11:15 am good morning friends we left bangalore at 3 am in the morning to avoid the traffic which helped really helped us to reach old magazine house early in time the tumkur road was really free there were no lorries carrying windmill blades the truck movements was very less so we covered a lot of kilometers as early as possible the route was dark and there was a little bit construction works going on between nelmangla and tumkur so whoever takes this route early in the morning be a little bit careful while driving so there are some unexpected humps and patchy roads where you to be a little bit careful me and my friend started at 3 am in the morning and we had a plan to reach old magazine house as soon as possible because we had to check in there at 1 pm and finish our lunch and then the birding activity starts from 2:30 in the afternoon so we need needed some time to check in there have some rest freshen up and then go to the birding activity so we had a huge target to reach old magazine house by at least 12 o'clock in the afternoon since the road condition was good we were able to cross tumkur within an hour and by almost 4:30 or 4:40 we crossed tumkur and once you cross tumkur the roads are very beautiful you have six lane highway till hubli so my best advice whoever is traveling to dandeli kova north kova leave bangalore as early as possible so that you can avoid all this traffic
Yeah, it's 4.50 in the morning now and we almost crossed Chitadurga and heading towards Davanagiri. Since it was too dark, we couldn't record the beautiful windmill. Hopefully, while coming back, we could get some beauty of it. The roads were really good. We had a small chai break in between and we are heading towards Davanagiri. And it's almost like 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it is uh, 6.57, it's almost like around 7 o'clock in the morning and we are too hungry and waiting for the right spot to have a breakfast. We brought from home a cooked breakfast from home, few chapatis and alu sabji so that uh, as we have left early in the morning, we knew that most of the restaurants will be closed. So it's always better carry your breakfast when we leave early in the morning and we reached Rana window toll and after that we stopped for a quick breakfast Almost uh, 100 kilometers from Rana Bindu, the place where we stop for breakfast. We reached almost Hubli and you can see the temple next to the left side. I'm zooming in here. Yes. Once you reach near this temple before the Gabur toll, it's almost near the ring road of Hubli. So slow down your vehicle and carefully be to the left of the flyover because once the flyover ends we need to go 
below the flyover take a left deviation and go down below the flyover that is the road which takes you to the Brunel cross and from there straight you have to take a left deviation towards a small cement road as mentioned in my earlier video before yes so this this is the deviation you can see straight it goes to Gabur Tol Hubli Dharwad and you have to take a left deviation after that fly over and uh, keep that temple which I showed you in the video as a landmark once you cross the temple you have to get down the flyover and take this left deviation and go straight I think so from here it is around half a kilometer not even a half a kilometer few uh, meters away you get the Kurnal cross where you take a right turn to go to Kurnal but here in this case we are going straight and I'll show you the exact spot where we need to take left actually we missed that left, left uh, turn in initial stage we went a little bit ahead and then we took a reverse turn and again came back and joined the road so it happens when you travel for the first time you miss a lot of deviations so yeah please be careful in this particular part yes this is the place you can see you need to take a left here but we uh, unfortunately went a little bit ahead and then realized that we need to take a left so took reverse and came back yes so maybe we are going ahead and then to take a reverse turn The roads are pretty good and it's a six lane road so I think so this is one of the best thing what we found out uh, this time while going to old magazine house this route straight away goes till Kalgatiki and we'll keep you posted once we reach Kalgatiki
after traveling for around 22 kilometers we reach Kalgatki town and this is the place soon after the bus stand we need to take a right deviation so this right deviation takes you to Halyal so from Halyal it's very easy to connect to Ganesh Kuri. so it's around 30 kilometers from here to Halyal and at this point of time we were checking out for a petrol bunk to refill the fuel and yeah we very soon got a petrol bunk few meters away from this turning where we all filled up uh, fuel the full tank so that uh, we were not ready to take any risk because once we reach Ganesh Kudi it's almost like around 20-30 kilometers around we don't have any fuel stations for refilling it so that's the reason this was the one last source and I think so you have fuel petrol bunks in Halyal as well but it's always better to be to take precautions so we just refill the fuel here so that it almost we were like uh, totally risk free and we could have confidently roam around Dandeli for next 4 days Soon after we crossed Halyal, we were very happy to see the most beautiful and the scenic route towards Ganesh Kudi. We almost entered the forest area and the entire route 
was lush green during the month of December as we were soon after the monsoon ended. We switched off our AC and we drove peacefully enjoying the cool breeze of the forest. The road condition is awesome and you don't find any huge traffic as well. The vehicles were barely there on the road. So we enjoyed the entire route and peacefully drove towards Ganesh Kudi. And finally, here is the moment which we waited for a long time. The 8 hours of driving finally made us reach the destination, the old magazine house. And one thing what I really enjoy is driving through this off-roading mud road from the main road till the main gate of old magazine house. They have not changed even after the long long time. I've been here to Old Magazine House for past 8 years and this one kilometer stretch from the main road to Old Magazine House is just retained as it is which has not spoiled the identity of the Old Magazine House. You start feeling that you are already inside the jungle and you feel that raw wilderness feel 
and on the way we had few guests who were taking photographs of the birds and we met Pundilika one of the famous guide of old magazine house after a quick chat with him and he was happy to see us after a long time and we told him that we are going to stay here for around 3 days sorry 4 nights and hopefully got a get a better sighting this time we straightly headed towards the old magazine house and this 1 km stretch of the drive is what makes you forget all the trouble stress of driving 480 km and when you see the board of old magazine house at the entrance you forget everything and enjoy your stay so we enter the old magazine house and this is the main entrance Unplugged. One hundred. Sir, sir, Rama. Rama, sir. Sir, what's up, sir? Yeah, I'm back, sir. ಹೆಂಗಿದೆ ಸೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆಯಾ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಎಷ್ಟೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ರೂಮ್ ಸಿಗೋದು ಚೆಕ್ ಇನ್ ಇತ್ತು 